Hey guys, welcome back to Ben's Audio Cave. Hey, nice to see you guys again this week and uh, happy to be here. So today I'm going to jump right in and I've got some things to talk to you about that eh, some people might find interesting, some people might not, but I find extremely interesting. So we've all looked at the waveforms of the various streaming platforms and oh, this is compressed and this is what a CD is, this is what... Uh, an album on vinyl is and blah blah. So, yeah, I'm re I'm visiting that, but this is what I've done. Um, I'm using the same song. I'm using uh, "You Got Lucky" from Tong Petty, "Long After Dark." This is the original album, and then this is the greatest hits, first time on vinyl, re-released album. So I'm recording both these. Uh, using the uh, P Audio Technica PTG 332 and recording them, you know, about 6 dB down. Then I'm going through and I'm normalizing everything to 3 dB. Now, when I say I'm normalizing things, let me be very specific. All I'm doing is adjusting the gain. I'm finding the peak level of it and then I'm adjusting the gain to minus 3 so the waveform's untouched. It's recorded low enough to where it is what it is all the way through. Now, it's important to the vinyl. What I'm doing to capture it is I'm going right off this uh, MOT of a PT100 directly into a uh, MOTU uh, sound interface into the mic. Okay, just recording it as is. The next thing I did is I've got a computer back here that I've got hooked up into the DAC of the MOT. And what I've done is I've taken the same song and I have recorded it using the same method uh, on the following lossless platforms, which are Amazon HD, QO Buzz, Tidal Hi-Fi, and Deezer Hi-Fi. Then I went and rinsed and repeated, same thing, same DAC, same, so uh, same uh, analog chain, and did uh, three lossy platforms, which were Spotify at 320K AUG, um, Pandora, because some of you guys use Pandora, and um, also YouTube music because, hey, it's YouTube, right? So, you know, in addition to just looking at these waveforms, what I've done is I've actually taken and time corrected everything to where it starts at the exact same time and then through some really zoomed in stuff in SoundForge, I've went and I've been able to export an FFE for each one of them. So we can actually look at the exact point in time of each of these songs, what the spectral uh, spectrum analysis is doing as far as the um, actual music that's in there. Now, what I'm not going to do with this is to actually play any of this. The reason why is because YouTube is a lossy platform. It uh, does compression about 192 kilohertz, uh, about the same as 192 kilohertz uh, MP3 um, on 1080p HD so, or 4K. So that's the audio portion of that. Not really all that helpful for seeing how a lossless or lossy thing does because then we're recompressing and yada yada. Now on like a turntable comparison or a cartridge comparison, I think it's a little bit more helpful because the analog's compressed the same way. It's really an even playing field, but now we're comparing analog and digital and everything. So let's just do it using pure math and graphs and everything else. Uh, I know a lot of people have done this analysis, but I don't know that anybody's done uh, the FFEs on everything. I've got this kind of put in a presentation format. Some of these results might shock you, and some of them might be as expected. So without ado, let's roll over to the computer and get started. All right, guys, so I'm back here in the office, and I have got our presentation up here to talk about these waveforms and what they look like and uh, what they mean. So keep in mind there are just these are these are kind of one dimensional results, but as we go through the FFEs and the spectrum analyzer reports, it's going to show just a few little things in here and uh, just some basic differences. I want to compare and contrast in a little bit different light than maybe you've seen done in other places. So let's go ahead and jump right in here. So this is the waveforms of vinyl overview. This is kind of like a forty second. Uh, clip the first 40 seconds here and we've got our original and our new vinyl pressing and what are we seeing here in this one dimensional output? What we're seeing is that our waveforms are very very similar. So if we kick over here to the 10 second zoom we got our original uh, 
and new pressings. Wave form is very similar. You can see uh, they're a little bit different. Keep in mind this is an analog uh, capture from a the Emotiva PT100. They've been gain matched to minus 3 dB, not compressed, just the volume turned up and down with it digitally. And very similar. The uh, top one looks to be a uh, a little bit different, but I mean, it's they're very similar. So now let's look over here at our high def. Now here, look at our platforms. You can Im immediately see three of these look the same, and one of them looks decidedly different. So what are these platforms? Well, the top is QO Buzz, 2496. Into the DAC, uh, out of the uh, Motiva, into the Mark of the Unicorn box, same recordings. This little cross hatch over here at the uh, top is actually just a cursor. So this is Tidal 2496. This is Amazon HD 2496. And the bottom, our compressed mess, is Deezer Hi Fi at 1644.1. No, it doesn't matter that it's at a different bit rate. However, Deezer does have the lowest bit rate of all the lossless ones. Uh, this is a regular Red Book CD rate. People would argue you can't hear the difference. I would argue maybe you can, but I don't want to make you unhappy. Whatever makes you happy, that's fine. But I will tell you what doesn't make me happy is to see these three very nice waveforms here and then this one which is just swollen and compressed that doesn't make me happy so let's zoom in here and get my laser pointer you can really see eh, here I'm gonna turn that off it's kind of cheesy so you can really see that QO Buzz, Tidal, Amazon very similar, Diesel, a uh, Diesel Deezer is very compressed. So let's look at our lossy streaming platforms. They all look kind of similar here, at this dimension at least. So what do we have? Pandora at the highest quality. We have Spotify at 320 at the highest quality. And we have YouTube Music at the highest quality. So on our 10 second zoom, if we look at this single dimension, you'll notice this area here is in the middle is kind of swollen. It's less swollen on the Spotify than it is on the YouTube. So really what we see or think we see right here is that our Spotify is potentially less compressed. So if we look here at all of our platforms, Let's look at here. We got, it's the same order they were presented. So we've got our original, new vinyl, QO Buzz, Tidal, Amazon, Deezer. So here, these are all very similar looking. I'm not saying they're the same wave or the same master, but I'm saying they're similar and they're gonna deliver similar dynamics. But starting here, you start to see the compression really take hold. Because these do not look like these. The Spotify probably looks the most like these than any of them. But how does that hold up once we start looking at FFEs? Well, let's go over here and look. So let's look at the original vinyl. This is the Spectrum Analyzer at 36 seconds. And I really took pains to make sure we were at the exact same spot in these songs. I zoomed in as far as I could with SoundForge and got it to start at the right place. And then I took my cursor and it's right on the money. Uh, so these are all the same place on the files. Um, we've got, you know, we're down 50 here at 20 hertz. This is 20 hertz on the left axis, 20,000, which is the highest frequency, so it goes from low to high. But, you know, this this looks pretty clean. We look down here. Uh, our peak frequency here is uh, minus 17 dB at 657 hertz. All right. So, let's look here at this one. 
minus 23 dB and 117. This is the new vinyl. Kind of looks like a, uh, like maybe a little bit different master of this. So if we go here to QO Buzz, notice though, it's a little bit tubbier in the mid bass region than the original pressing is. So if we go to QO Buzz, yeah, it's kind of got the same characteristics going on here. We've got plenty of content over here in the 20,000 hertz region, but we've got a 633 hertz uh, peak similar to our original, so the new vinyl is 117. Now if we go over here to Tidal, Jay-Z be bringing the bass, and it is. We're up on the 20. This whole lower region looks like it's kind of got a shelf on it. Our highs are a little bit down and rolled off, but they're still present. And we're at 117, which it says is an A sharp 3, similar to what our new vinyl was. So it seems like Tidal and the new vinyl are using a similar master, but uh, the compression's even looks the same. Minus 23, minus 23. Really interesting we can get these results with a rock dragging across a piece of plastic and a quote unquote bit perfect ones and zeros copy. It's just astounding these results I think. It's, it's interesting at least to me. Um, we look here at Amazon. They're up. They're bringing the bass a little bit. Um, Notice we got, we're got a little bit sweeter and hotter in the mids here than we were. But if we look, our peak is still at 657 hertz minus 18 dB. We're, we're actually somehow less compressed, it seems, on this one than we were on the other, unless they've compressed this down here in the overall low shelf spin there. But it's still the same frequency. It's very similar to the original vinyl pressing. So QO Buzz, Amazon, looking very similar at this point. Now Deezer, our compressed mess, we're rolled off here like our original was. Uh, we're starting to roll off in the highs. We're super hot here in the mids. And if you notice, we're minus 13 dB at 657 hertz. So let's talk about that versus Amazon, that is 5 dB hotter. That's not insignificant. Versus the original vinyl, it is uh, minus is 4 dB hotter. Still not insignificant. Any 3 dB is very noticeable. So this is a much louder track. And just so we're clear, louder does not mean better. So it's like a Pandora. But okay, still yet, yeah, Deezer, you're rolled off in the highs. You're starting to lose it about 18,000. What happened? What's here? There's nothing here. These are all, we're all through a DAC. There's nothing here. Uh, at like starting at 16,000 hertz with Pandora, you're very rolled off at 20 to 25. Not like you, some people argue humans aren't going to hear this that much, but there is information there. And if you do have a keen sense of hearing, uh, you may not be hearing it. Interestingly enough, for minus 15 dB at 657 hertz, and that's actually less compressed than the Deezer was. If we look over here at Spotify, hey look, we're, we're missing some stuff, but our, some of our content's back. So a lot of times uh, the lossy compression will clip this upper end off because it's uh, to uh, make it smaller. Uh, our base is there though, so and we're minus 18 dB, which is really not bad at 16 hertz. So it does look to be a little bit different master, very similar to the original one. But let's talk about it. So if I'm going to use a lossy program just based on this one snippet at 36 seconds on this one track, it's going to be Spotify so far. So let's see what YouTube Music can do. A lot of people swear by YouTube Music. So let's see what it can do. Uh, what happened here? I mean, they just took an eraser to this. This went through a DAC, and almost everything at 14 to 15,000 hertz is just gone. It's just not there. Um, we're still at 657 hertz is our peak at minus 15 dB, very similar in compression to Pandora. If we look at the two, very similar two, except for they've hotted up this end here and evaporated the highs. Oh my goodness. 
so what are we learn? What are we learning here? Um, yeah, title and new vinyl using the same masters, possibly everybody else using the originals. Uh, the lossy platforms, YouTube and Pandora really mean when they say lossy. Now keep in mind, all these were on the same computer, native client, in exclusive mode when uh, applicable. Did everything we could to give all these the same advantages and make it as level as possible, and these are our results. Interesting? I think it is. All right, let's uh, roll back over to the audio cave and wrap it up. So what did you think? Did you guys learn anything? I learned something. I learned that uh, if you're using YouTube Music or Pandora, you're potentially missing out on the whole upper octaves of your music from 15,000 hertz up. That's what I've learned. That was from the FFE results. I've learned that Deezer is a pretty compressed, uh, lossless platform. And I've learned that uh, the new and the old vinyl may have different masters, but they neither one seem to be a compressed mess, and they both sound really good. So I know this video has been done a bunch. Uh, I know that a lot of people think you're not breaking new ground here, but I think the FFE results really quantify a lot of things. I hope this has been helpful. I have these files available. If you guys would like them, drop me a comment. I can uh, send you a PM or something about um, where to get these files, at least to look at the PDFs and the uh, pictures and stuff. Don't mind sharing. All right. So uh, if you found this in content enjoyable, make sure and give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and drop me a comment. And I'll see you from next time from Ben's Audio Cave. Thank <laughs> you.